What's up, everybody? This is Jose with Oakland Latinos United, a.k.a. Oakland Latinos Unidos, with another Barrio Tour for you guys to enjoy. Another edition of Barrio Tour for you guys to enjoy. Well, today I'm in a city that's mostly made up of Raza in the Bay Area, and it's the next-door neighbor to Richmond, California, and that's San Pablo, California. Many of you may, may know or may not know that there is a small town in the Bay Area called San Pablo, California. And um, it's right next to Richmond. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a city that it's majority raza. You know what I mean? Um, I think probably like 70% of the population is Latino here. You know, and, um, you know, it has a history of, of, uh, of hoods and, and gangs and different things like that. It's actually, some of it is, is, is middle kind of middle class looking and nice like this area right here. This area is called Leroy Heights. You know what I mean? Um, I used to hang out here a lot at Leroy Heights many years ago because I used to, I used to kind of date some girl that used to hang out here, and I got to know a few folks from out here. I met some cool folks from Leroy Heights back in the days. You feel me? But um, yeah, um, I've hung. This is uh, San Pablo, California. This is kind of one of the little outskirt neighborhoods of San Pablo. You know, but um, but yeah, this area is like on a little hill. It's, a, it's kind of a nice area. I was almost gonna. I was almost gonna live in this area. You know, I wish I was. I would have been able to get in the house here back when I was around here. You feel me? But yeah, you know what I mean. So that's San Pablo. Look at the view over there. You can see the view of, of Richmond and San Pablo from up here. You know, some of you might remember back in the days when they used to have gangs like VSP, Barrio San Pablo, Montalvin you know, Leroy Heights, you know, and different little hoods that they used to have back in the days, but yeah, man, this is San Pablo, California, we're going to drive around a little bit, and I'll show you the different little areas of San Pablo, like I said, a lot of Raza here, it used to be a lot of white folks here a long time ago, you know, there's always been blacks and Asians and Latinos, but definitely the Latino population in the last probably 20 years has exploded in this area, you feel me, but uh, yeah, that school down there, I think that school's called Bayview, you know, but, uh, yeah, this is the rest of San Pablo, California, some of you might know it, you know, I used to have family that used to live out here in San Pablo when I was a little kid in the 80s, and then my dad, he knew a few people that lived out here, so I remember coming out here when I was a little kid, you know what I mean, we came out here quite a few times with my dad, you know, when I was little, uh, so I have memories of coming out here. I think I, if I remember right, we used to come to the street called Palmer. And I'll show you that street right now. Back in the days. But yeah. So I'm just showing you the back areas. Now I would say San Pablo, the area that's probably a little bit a little bit more hood, are the areas that border Richmond. And I'll show you those areas too. The contrast to these areas. These areas are, you know, they're not, they're not necessarily wealthy or nothing like that they're working class they're just a, a little bit I would say working middle class you know compared to like say the more bottom part of, of San Pablo which is going towards like 23rd and towards Reem and towards that those areas which is more like uh closer to the border with rich ah man I came down the wrong street see that's how you know I'm not from here let me bust the Yui. Yeah, I was meaning to go down another little street, but I was gonna show you the little street that I remember coming to when I was a little kid with my parents. So yeah, if you go down this street past this uh, this uh, uh, school, you go towards a street called Palmer. little school right there. I remember my brother, he told me he hung out at this school when he was a, little, a youngster with some females. He always swore on up and down that this school was haunted. It's called Bayview. He always told me he used to hear and see weird things here all the time. I told my brother, man, I think you were just high. You were just on one. <laughs> but he, that's what he claims, you know what I mean? 
but uh yeah this is like uh like still we're still kind of like in Leroy Heights area uh well yeah I remember coming over here to Palmer when I was a little kid with my dad and my mom they knew people that used to live on this street back in the 80s you know so I can remember coming down this street right here it's changed a lot it seems like they built a lot of newer houses I remember there was a lot of older houses back then I think they tore down a lot of them and uh and built newer houses but yeah This street is called Palmer in San Pablo. Just showing you because I remember coming here when I was a kid. My dad and mom knew some people that lived around this area. You know, way back in the days. I'm, I'm telling you, this is the 80s when I was like, fuck, like 9, 10, 8 years old. And probably even smaller than that. But yeah. So I've kind of been familiar with this area since I was a kid, you know like San Pablo, Richmond area, because like I always tell people, Richmond and these areas are kind of like the little cousin of rich of Oakland, you know what I mean? It's kind of like the areas where there's a lot of people of color, working class areas, industrial areas, kind of like, like how Oakland used to be, you know what I mean? So obviously these were the cities where you were going to see more, more blacks, more raza, you know, more people of color, <coughs> you know? But yeah, so now we're going down Broadway, going back down towards like towards San Pablo. This is uh, one of the little main streets over here. Some of you might be familiar with the street. We're still in San Pablo. Coming up over here is a liquor store that's been here since I was a kid because I can remember coming to that liquor store when I told you I used to come out here. It's called People's Market, and that's been there forever. I remember when I was a kid coming out here we would always go stop at that little market but um yeah it was people's market has been there forever since the 80s i can tell you that you know what i mean there's a cop coming let me put my phone down don't want to get no tickets he passed me but um but yeah man that's san pablo california the sp so yeah like i said um San Pablo, a lot of people think it's Richmond because if you're not from here, you probably won't know the difference or you might, but for the most part, it's kind of hard to tell San Pablo and Richmond because San Pablo is kind of small. It's kind of surrounded by Richmond, to be honest with you. So there could be areas where you might get confused. You, you'll still think you're in Richmond, but you're really in San Pablo. You know what I mean? And, 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 uh, yeah, like, there, there's certain areas where it's like one part of it is Richmond and one part of it is San Pablo. And then one part of it is Richmond again. So you'll kind of get, it can be confusing if you're not from here or you're not familiar with the landscape out here. You know what I mean? But yeah, San Pablo is basically surrounded by Richmond. And there's another little town on the other side called El Sobrante. There's Pinol also uh, and El Cerrito. So those are the areas that kind of surround Richmond. You know, so... <coughs> Now over here, we're heading towards San Pablo Ave. There's King Donut. Donut King. Been there for a long time. I remember that used to be a Little Caesars a long time ago. You know. Now we're at the corner of Broadway and 20 and San Pablo. If you keep going straight, that becomes El Portal. I think that's the name of that street. El Portal, as people call it. There's a little Raza mural right there. It used to be a check cashing, I remember. Now it's like a little Raza store, you know. But, yeah, this is San Pablo still, you know. There's a McDonald's over there. That's been there forever. I can remember stopping at that McDonald's with my dad when I was a little, little kid. Like I said, back in the 80s, we used to come out here. And also, you know, for those of you who remember, <coughs> Hilltop Mall used to be out here. So sometimes we would come shopping at Hilltop, you know what I mean? We would come from Oakland out here to shop at Hilltop. I remember over there... On the other side of the McDonald's, there used to be a shopping center also. And there used to be a Mervyn's. And there used to be like several stores. Because I remember going there when I was a little kid. And all that is gone now. None of that is there no more. You know, that was back in the days. So now we're going down to San Pablo. That used to be a... Uh, I remember that used to be a uh, Casper's Hot Dog back in the days. Jack and the Box been there forever. You know, so we're on San Pablo. This is like the little business district right here. A lot of businesses. 
a lot of restaurants and stuff, good places to eat, you know. So yeah, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this area, but this is San Pablo. Like I said, San Pablo has had a reputation of being kind of a violent place in the past. There has been crime here. There have been gangs here. You know, there used to be a lot of, you know, Barrio San Pablo. There used to be uh, Leroy Heights, Mont Calvin Manor. There used to be some Daniel gangs too. It used to be a mixture of everything out here. But, you know, they also had black, black, some black neighborhoods out here too. And Asian gangs back in the days as well. So, you know, it used to, it used to be pretty rough at one point. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's calmed down a lot since, you know what I mean? It's not as bad as it once was, you know? And uh, there's the San Pablo police station right over there. There's Las Montañas. That's a famous Mexican store right there. I've been to that store. It's kind of like a, like, a, like a Cardenas or a Mi Pueblo kind of. Pretty big Mexican store. Now, right here, this is the old San Pablo City Hall. And on the edge of it, right here, is a place called... Uh, the Alvarado Adobe, which is right there. So right there is where, let's see, it says Alvarado Adobe. God damn it, the sun. Right there, that used to be the old place for the Californios, the Alvarado family. So that's back when, when this was called Rancho San Pablo. And that's how, 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 the, how this area originated. So Richmond was called Rancho San Pablo. It was owned by a family called the Alvarado and Castro family. And that was the original, um, the original, whatchamacallit, uh, adobe that used to be here back in the days. There's a St. Paul's Catholic Church. Now we're going down, um, we're going down to Dover Street. You know, I used to actually live on Dover Street at one point a long time ago. I lived here briefly, you know, so I'm familiar with this area right here. This area is a little bit more hood compared to where I started. You know what I mean? This is, um, this is still San Pablo, California, you know, and uh, yeah, man, just wanted to show you guys the terrain out here. A lot, like I said, a lot of Raza over here, you know, a lot of Mexicans, a lot of Latinos. I used to actually live in those apartments for a little bit right there. See those apartments? And they used to be right next to, the, the, to this place. They used to be Foster Freeze back in the days. Those of you who are old enough to remember, they used to be the OG Foster Freeze. You feel me? Right there. I used to go there all the time and buy, uh, like, ice creams and, and different stuff. You feel me? But, yeah, so now we're on 23rd. We're on Dover and 23rd. And, like I said, I used to actually live on Dover. I lived here for a, for a brief time. You know what I mean? Like I said, I lived all over the place. I'm Oakland Latinos United, but I've been around, you feel me? So I know the Bay. So you can't school me on the Bay Area, you feel me? This is my home, regardless of where I'm at. You know, whether it be Richmond, Oakland, you know, Vallejo. I used to live in Vallejo too, you feel me? It's all love. It's all Bay love. There's a, a Guatemalan place. I remember my mom used to love eating at that place, China Express. I remember my mom used to always make me take her there. This is new. This uh, fire station just built up. That's the uh, San Pablo fire station. That was an empty lot for hella years. And then there's a little shopping center right there. You know what I mean? So now we're going more closer to, uh, to Richmond, the Richmond border. You know what I mean? And I'm about to end this video soon. Like I said, we're on Market and 23rd now. This is one of the main drags in, out here. Uh, San Pablo, you know, it has a lot of main streets, like San Pablo Boulevard. Um, I mean, San Pablo Street, it has 23rd Street. It has uh, uh, that Broadway Street we were on, you know, El Portal. It has a lot of big main streets crossing through it. So, so yeah, man. So, yeah, it's basically... This was a viral tours of San Pablo, California. Those of you who maybe didn't know, now you know. You know. This ain't Richmond, so don't call it Richmond. People get offended. <laughs> but, um, 
But yeah, I'm caught at this light. It takes forever. I hate this light. It always takes forever every time. But um, yeah. But as we drive this way, we get closer to um, their Sportsman Liquor Store. We get closer to uh, to the Richmond border, and basically, this is where I'm gonna end it. You know, now we're getting closer to Richmond. I, I would say that this area is a part of San Pablo that starts looking a little bit more hood, a little bit more, you know, I don't want to say run down, but it, starting, it looks a little bit more hood compared to where I started. So you kind of see the contrast. You know what I mean? There's Richmond High School right over there. Famous for the movie Coach Carter. You know what I mean? But there's a bond fair. So yeah, man, that's the Barrio Tours of San Pablo, California. Richmond High School, where, they, where the movie Coach Carter took place. Those of you who don't know, a lot of history at that school. You feel me? So once you cross over there, over that light, it's Ream, and that's Richmond, and that's no longer San Pablo, and that was Barrio Tours of San Pablo, California. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This will say over and out.